Okay, little chilblains. So, this is similar to what we've done already, but it's slightly trickier because instead of rounding to the nearest whole number, we're rounding to the first decimal place. So, we've got 3.17. 3.17 lies between 3.1 and 3.2. And if we look at our diagram, we can see that it's above 3.15, it's closer to 3.2, so that's the answer. Now, it might be helpful if you think of this in terms of pounds and pence, and that you're rounding not to the nearest whole pound, but to the nearest 10 pence. So if you've got £3.17, you want to round 17 to the nearest 10, well that is £3.20. If you think about it like that, it is actually much easier to think of. We've got 19.83 or 19 pounds and 83 pence. 83 to the nearest 10, we would round that to 80. So that would be 19.8. When rounding to one decimal place, we look at the second decimal digit, so the number in the second decimal place. So for example, in 3.17, the, only the 7 matters. 7 is above 5, so we're rounding up to 3.2 in 19.83 it's the 3 that matters it's in the second decimal place and that tells us to round down so in the second decimal place if we've got 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 then we're rounding up or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 we're rounding down so the example here 12 point, well, round 12.17 to the nearest decimal place or to one decimal place because of the 7, then we would round up and it would be 12.2. If you think that again, £12.17, we would round up to £12.20. Okay, so number one here, this is something that we've done already. But rounding to the nearest whole number, here we're rounding to the first decimal place. So we've got 3.46, and we're asked, is it 3.4 or 3.5? So it's the 6, the number in the second decimal place that we're looking at. The 6 tells us we're rounding up, which would take us to 3.5. Or you can think of it as £3.50. Rounding to the nearest 10 would be, oh, sorry, £3.46. Rounding to the nearest 10, which would be £3.50. So the answer would be 3.5. If you want to put the zero in and make it 3.50 as if you were using money, I am happy with that. I'm not going to object. You don't need the zero, but I'm not going to mark it wrong. Uh, in fact, it's not wrong. It's not only that we're going to mark it. It's not wrong to have the zero. Um, it's just that the zero is not needed. Um, B... You've got 4.72 or £4.72. Is it going to 4.7 or 4.8? Well, 72, we're going to round down. So that would be 4.7 or 4.70. Number two, 6.48. It lies between 4. Point, no, 6.48 lies between 6.4. And 6.5, it is closer to, well, we look at the 8, the 8 tells us to round up, so it's closer to 6.5, or £6.48 to the nearest 10 would be £6.50, so it's closer to 6.5. Again, if you keep the zero in, I'm absolutely fine with that. Our final slide, these steps that we've looked at before, to round numbers like 7.68124 to one decimal place. Step one, check that it lies between 6.6 .6 and 6.7. Decide whether to go up or down. We're looking at the eight there, which tells us to go to 6. Point, um, I said 6.6 .6 and 6. .6. It's 7.6 .6 and 7.7. .7. Sorry, I'm not reading that properly. Um, so the 8 is the important number there. That's the only number that matters. 
So the eight tells us that we're rounding up to 7.7. .7. And so let's look at 3a, 4.42647. The number that's important then is the 2 because it's in the second decimal place. And the 2 means rounding down. So the answer is 4.4. In B, the, second, the number in the second decimal place is 7. That's the only number that matters. 1.87. That's like £1.87. We would round that to £1.90, so the answer would be £1.9. Okay, and as I said before, watch out for the zeros. The ones with zeros are there to confuse. Okay, four, we've done one like this already. Use your calculator to do the divisions. So 90 divided by 16, and it will give you a decimal number. Find the one that's in the second decimal place and use that number to decide whether to round up or round down to for the first decimal place, to the nearest first decimal place. Okay, any questions, let me know. And... Um, yeah, I hope you get on well.